hello 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 queens welcome back to my channel if you're new go ahead and hit that like subscribe button and leave me a comment today we will be making cash envelopes i will walk you step by step on how to make cash envelopes if that is something that you are interested in stay tuned we are going to turn these into these beauties I already cut them out each one of my envelopes we cut them already so we're actually going to go through the process of folding them and getting them laminated I'm gonna go through everything that I'll be using I have my laminate sheet which I use the scotch thermal laminating pouches which are these I just get these and these are three meals for these and we have a laminating machine which I'll, I'll keep that to the side these piece back up here all right let's get started first I fold these up corner to corner envelopes on Canva but we will fast forward from here so you don't have to sit through this have those done. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn my laminator in which I will probably laminate these off of camera, but I will show you how I place them in my laminating sheet. here I try to leave a little room for my edges because I do do laminating edges and then I'll place this one I can place this pretty close because we will be cutting down the middle this one I place this way because I again I'm cutting down the middle So that's that. I'll get this done 
and I'll come back. Okay guys, so I decided to get out here to walk you all through the full step so you, can, you all can see. pick it up and I kind of hold it here kind of guide it through but I make sure I don't let this end right here go because I don't want it to slide so we kind of guide it through have it. Get this out the way. This is my cutting tool, what I use to cut my everything with, really. I use this for everything. Um, This is a Friskers. I think I got this from Staples. I was Depot, one of them. I'm not sure which one. I got from there but the first thing I'll do is I'll line it up here and I'll just cut my envelopes out first and if you guys watch my video of my savings challenge I mentioned that the envelopes will pop so I'm not sure if you can see it's a line here and here. It's a line all the way around it. Guys, we want to make sure we don't cut that. Because if you cut it, it will come a loose. But on the part that we're going to be stuffing the money in, we will cut that. And I will show you guys exactly what I mean about we don't want to cut though. What happens when you cut it? So I cut that. That, trim that little spot off and it opens so you put your money in so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get as close as I can to the edges without hitting that bubble and these envelopes are for an order uh, for Etsy on my Etsy orders. And she ordered it with hole punches and we haven't gonna have a little laminate edges on it on the edge. Not sure what I, I was just doing. We're just going to repeat the same thing. I will show you guys all three of these. And 
and I, I line it up on the edge here. This is three and a half. And I go to the second line before I get to three seven five. So I'm guessing it's three point six zero, I guess. But don't make me lie to you. But I think that's what it is. Not to be sure. I just know I go to that second line there. One thing I like about this color is it has that little silver thing and it shows me exactly where I'm cutting my envelopes. So I'm going to take them and move the rest of stuff your money in there. Sorry, I shook the camera. You have it. I will do the next few off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. We have all envelopes cut out and laminated and cut. So this is actually a 10 pack. I have line here that I just laminated and then I keep extra ones here um so I would take this self-care out because she did order a self-care and I just keep a lot of stuff in here I use these as storage I accidentally made these this large and I was going to throw them away but I decided to keep them and that's what I use them for um So now we are going to punch the holes in these and then we will be finished with these. I actually love doing these. I'm going to hole punch that and then I will take my binder and make sure that it actually fits in here before I actually do because sometimes when I move that around, it gets a, the adjustment move. So I like to test it out before I keep going and mess them all up. So I like the way this fit in the binder. These are four A6 binders. So it fits perfectly. So now I will continue with the rest. I think I purchased this hole puncher from Hobby Lobby. It's a A6 personal um, puncher, I think it is called. I'm not for sure. But I know you can probably buy them on Amazon as well. So 
So we have all of those done. And now we will package those and send them off. But when I was trying to get this done, I couldn't figure out this. It took me a minute to figure it out. But I ended up putting it on personal. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I put this on personal. That way I can get that even there. But always remember to have that on personal when you're doing doing these. So all of these will fit in the binder. Like so. purpose of these envelopes to keep money in here. I'll show you how this actually works just in case you're new to this whole system. So what you would do when you're budgeting, go to which envelope you're, you're wanting to stuff. I say emergency funds. I want to stuff a hundred dollars in there. So what I would do, I would take this hundred dollar bill and I'll just place it in here. And it goes in there. You don't see it unless you open it up. And let's go for groceries. Take the 20 or whatever you're gonna put in there and just place it inside. And this, once again, conceals all of your money because both sides are covered. So that's how that works. Now we will package these and get ready to mail them. I will show you guys how I package. All right, let's package. I get these bags from, I think I get them from Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. But once I figure it out, I will drop them and drop the link for these bags. And I'm sure you can buy them on Amazon as well. And I have to get the correct size. So what I do is I'll drop those in there. And then I will take a slip, it's just a thank you slip that I created myself, and I'll put that slip facing this way. I will then take this because it is self adhesive bags, and I will make sure everything is nice and neat, and I fold it all the way over. And here I'm just squeezing out all of the air that's in there. Then I will take this and fold it over as well. So we always want to look nice and neat. I have some thank you stickers, guys. I'm not sure where I ordered these from, but I found them some stuff. I'm not sure how long I had those. But I take this. It's a thank you for your order. And I'll take that and put that there. I package it in the baggies here. This is the packaging slip. I just place these inside as well. I'm gonna seal this. And 
And then I take another sticker that I actually made with my logo. I place it on the back. On the front, I will place the shipping label in which I will not place that on there in this video to protect the privacy of my customer. Now, I will also place, please handle with care because I don't want them to try to fold this and put it in the mailbox and potentially mess up her envelopes. So that is how I make my envelopes for my Etsy orders from start to finish. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and also leave me a comment as well as any other video you guys would like to see. And as always, thank you for coming by, queens. Be blessed.